Bill and Hillary Clinton brought in more than $25 million since January of last year. That is the most recent number disclosed to the Federal Election Commission. Now critics are questioning how Hillary Clinton can campaign as a champion of the middle class while piling up massive amounts of wealth. Economist and author Ben Stein is here and also a, a one-time classmate of Hillary schoolmate, Clinton. Schoolmate. 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 She was a shy class. little thing. She used to walk down the hall of the Sterling Law Building sort of clinging to the wall. She was so shy. She has come out of her shell. Yes, she's she has running, come out of She her is shell. now running for president. Yeah, but you barely know it. I mean, she's just running the quietest campaign there's ever been. She is kind of still saying on the mute side, at least when it comes to taking questions from the likes of us journalists. Well, you swine, what do you have to do with people who make 25 million a year? <laughs> well, let me ask you about that because listen, she's taking so much heat from the left, from uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who's wanting to pull her there. She um, wants to crack down on Wall Street. She talks about income inequality all the time. How can Hillary thread that needle when she's clearly among the one percent? And I, the, no problem with that. This is America. She's among the one tenth, probably yeah, one hundredth yeah. of one percent. She is a very wealthy woman and a very, very highly paid woman. Nothing that wrong with that. that. That doesn't mean she can't be a champion of the poor. It just means she isn't a champion of the poor. She's never been a champion of the poor. What could she do to be a champion of the poor? There's nothing she can do. There's no policy that's going to make the poor rich. If you took all of Bill and Hillary's money, if you took all of Mr. Buffett's money, if you took all of Carl Icahn's money and spread it among the poor, it still wouldn't make them rich. There's no policy that will work except for them to get education and work and earn more money. So she, so all that stuff about championing, about making the poor into the middle class, that's all nonsense. It's just a big lie. Well, what about things like she wants to crack down on corporate welfare? Well, who cares about it? that? That won't make the poor rich either. I mean, there, there's nothing in the history of the world that has made poor people well-to-do except for them to achieve better educational status, have better skills, and then to have more human capital. And But I'd like to hit this point, if I may, very briefly, with the world's most beautiful human being. Uh, the, Where? Right here. The, <laughs> Hillary, the reason, the reason, uh, Hillary, I love people making money. I like to make money yeah. myself. It's great stuff. And you have. And, and, well, I've been a little bit, tiny bit. But she, that's not the problem. She hasn't accomplished anything in her life. That's the thing. She married the wizard campaigner of all time. He made her first lady. The fact that he, she was his first lady made her senator from New York. She was secretary of state for four years. She accomplished nothing, absolutely nothing. Traveled one million miles. Are you being sexist? She that has nothing to do with sexism whatsoever. She has, uh, she has absolutely nothing to do with achievement. She has no achievements whatsoever. That being said, I was her schoolmate at Yale Law School, and I, I wear the old school tie sometimes on her behalf. But right. she accomplished nothing. All right. Well, let us know if you have a class reunion, because we'd love to hear about that. I will. Great to see you, Ben. Thank Thanks you. for coming nice in. Nice to see you. All right. Back with more right after this break.